Hey everybody, it's your boy, Jacob Rewind. Here he is. And I've got a nice little video for you. I'm back into the Monster Prom game. Woohoo! Well, I never left the Monster Prom game. I did leave the uploading videos about Monster Prom game, which I feel like if I stayed in, I could have been really on top of something and really doing something great, but a lot of shit went down, so we're not talking about that right now. Anyways, I went back to my goddamn roots, fired up, Monster Prom with the objective of having some fun, and I locked down the Zgord Totem ending from Monster Prom Classic, and it took way too many attempts. I do not know how I kept managing to screw up that run. I just edited the VOD, so I watched every single screw up, and like I can under I can empathize whichever with every single mistake I make I made, but like. Come on, dude. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is an edited VOD that was streamed on Twitch a couple weeks back. I've been sitting on this one, and I've decided I'd like to get into the process, or rather the habit, of uh, streaming Monster Prom on Monday, and then taking a week to edit that VOD. Not spending a week editing. You find one day. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, you understand. Anyways, um, so Monster Prom Monday is going to be the thing. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. If you watch this video the day it came out, you're probably thinking it's Monday right now. Well, yes, it is. You are so smart. My plan is that if you are watching this video right uh, when it came out, then that means I'm live right now. This one is a longer one. Then I anticipate uploading these uh, next coming weeks because I'd like for each upload to focus on one plot line. I think that's pretty logical, really. And um, so, yes, if you're clicking on this right when it was uploaded or the day it was uploaded, then I'm probably live right now. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob.com slash Twitch underscore TV. You already know. Twitch.tv slash Jacob underscore Rewind. Uh, I'll be playing Monster Camp. I've decided to um, start with Monster Camp with just like playing it for fun because I still haven't gotten every single ending in Monster Camp. I know it's embarrassing, but uh, yeah, I think I'll be playing that on my Switch. I'll start a new account on it. Everything will be nice and clean. I'm very much looking forward to it. And hopefully I see you all over there. Anyways, um, had some fun editing this VOD. Uh, Will am looking forward to more editing intensive projects in the future. I'm looking forward to July. I am. Uh, I finished uploading this at 3:37 a.m. So it's July now. We are over halfway through 2024. But yeah, I just wanted to say I'm really looking forward to July. I got a lot of. Uh, legit like in a couple days here uh i've got something very exciting lined up and then it'll take a while to cook but uh if we cook it'll taste uh i don't think there's anything else for me to say i will see you again at the end of this edited vod and um please enjoy this Monster Prom, as much as I enjoyed it. I need to get that ring light back up. It made a significant difference on this side of my face, <laughs> is what I'm realizing. I was very excited about the ring light that I just bought in uh, this VOD. And uh, now that I'm looking at my face in this recording, I'm realizing why I was so excited. But yes, I am delaying too much. Please enjoy this video that I made for you to enjoy. See you at the end. Bye. And we get, uh... Oh, secrets! Hello! What the fuck is this shit, baby? Yeah. What am I doing all well-lit and shit? Man. Bro! What? Have you ever even seen a thing such as this? She doesn't sit very nicely. And it looks like I'm looking at the screen. I look over here. It looks like I'm looking at you. 
I think everything is good. And you look over here, and if I just scoot these guys over ever so slightly, you can still see my little friends, except for Hazel, because she doesn't want to sit nice. Hazel, that's that's your friend, that's Juan. Don't... Why don't you just want to sit nice? I feel like you sat nice before. What changed? Uh, 1600 by 900. Bro, do you not have 1080p? Listen, man, I'm playing it in windowed mode, and I want it to be smaller than the full screen. And if I if I change the size now, it'll fuck up the way the stream is set up. If I wasn't on the settings screen, you wouldn't even have noticed, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, um, how is the audio levels of the... Uh, oh, did I unmute the desktop? I'm pretty sure I did. No, I didn't! But let me just look at my gallery. Because here's the... What the... Dude, I have to learn how this fucking shit works, because I could have sworn that, like, like I started my whole mission to 100% thing after I did my speedrun. And I don't remember playing it that much since. I don't think I got all of these endings. I, like, dude, me, me and Steam and the save files of this game have never fucking gotten along. Like, honestly, if it weren't, like, if I, if I had my ways, and I, and, and everything, if, 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 if the load times were not, I, yeah, I might have been sleep monster problem, honestly, it's entirely possible. Um, here's the thing, right? If I, like, if, if, if it weren't for the goddamn load times, I would play this game on my Switch every time. Because then... I don't have to worry about save files. I can have one each account B, because that's the thing that I really like about the Switch, is each, each account has its own saves and stuff, which is nice. What if it was called Monster Prom, and instead of a crass dating sim, it was a warm home-cooked meal? Oh, Monster Parm! <laughs> I would like Monster Parm. I feel like Monster Parm could be yummy, nummy, scrummy, delicious, and good. Yeah, like... And I feel like this has happened before, where I open the game and I just have no clue what's in my fucking gallery or what I unlocked and shit. It's really starting to irritate me, if I'm being real. Uh, hey, good night. how are you doing? What? Oh, what if it was called Monster Perm, and instead of a fucking awesome video game, it was a fucking awesome hairstyle? Yeah, that'd be bitchin', but hello! Let's try to pull off this Gord Totem. Without my book. My book is over there. I'm not gonna use it, but that- Ah, uh, uh, no! I hate the save file system of this game. Oh, and also, I didn't. I, I kind of like reacted to it in chat, but I should say something about it. Uh, Ace Man, thank you so much for six months. That's half a year. Okay, but oh my God, what did I? What did I tell you? I told you you were gonna fall, Hazel. I'm just going for Zord Zord Totem. So, yeah, no reason not to do a short game. Wait. I'm not going to do it this time, but I am going to read this so that next time I can do it with my eyes closed. <clears throat> oh, it's been so long since I bust out the narrator voice. I wonder if I even remember how to do it. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. The sweetest years of our lives. Sometimes reckless. Sometimes Back then brilliant. we were young and unafraid. The sweetest you years of our lives. But always willing to live life to the fullest. It's okay. Just doing an audio check. Don't freak out. Don't panic. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? I'm gonna be Brian this time. Uh, and what should my name be? Chat. What should I name my dude? Uh, anyways, I'm gonna be Devotee. Yeah, it's, I'm ready to go. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. God, sitting up in your straight, sitting up in your chair, straight, and having good posture, is so goddamn hard. It sucks. Uh, Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, Aaron Hansen, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Liam DeLioncourt, a main character in MonsterCon, 
Uh, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! Polygeist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear, it had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. You know a fucked up thought that I just had? What if I did, what if I did a monster, a blindfolded monster prom run? Uh, what would be a killer accessory? Um, shiny armor. Sure, fuck it. We barely ever talked to Miranda, and I'm going for score totem, so... Oh. Um, sure. Huh. I just remembered something kind of funny. Uh, okay. So, decent stats. Let's up my money, because I want to buy a totem. There we go. Scott and Miranda seem to be arguing about something. Your sweet mediation skills are clearly needed. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, no, I know our football team is called the Spooky High Spooky Monsters who spook parentheses but who also play sports. But who's our mascot? Our mascot? Oh, dang, you're right. We don't have one. <laughs> Ooh, what about Misha the Mermaid? Mermaids are monsters. No way, too girly. Try this, Wally the Werewolf. Is that Snake Lady in the other monster games? Um, it, well, yeah, yeah. She's a hitchhiker in Monster Road Trip, but that's probably not what you're talking about. You're talking about her being like a, uh, a love interest or a main character. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, not this next game coming out, Monster Con, but I believe the game coming after Monster Con is Monster... As long as the plans haven't changed, which I haven't seen an indication of, the game that's coming after Monster Con is going to be Monster Road Trip, which is going to be more in line with Monster... Or Monster... Fuck. It is going to be Monster Retreat, which is more in line with Monster Road Trip than Monster Prom, wherein it's not a dating game. It's actually going to be... A turn-based strategy game, kind of like Fire Emblem, and the premise of the game is that at the beginning of the game, you pick a side. You're either going to be on Vera's team or Miranda's team, and at the end of the game, you get into a snowball fight, and the game's all about recruiting people to your team. I think it could fuck, honestly, but... You already know I'm there for it. I bought all the fucking Polaroids, dude. I'm already locked in on this franchise. Have you seen my fucking computer? Have you seen this fucking Juan plush, bro? You know I'm already locked in, man. <laughs> Why is it gonna be a werewolf? We're the monsters, not the werewolves. Hmm. Yeah, well, we're not the mermaids either. Maybe the problem is that the team name is trying to cover a huge, diverse group of people with a single label. They're already planning another one? Dude, yeah, hell yeah. And it's a- Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying! It, like, because that's the thing, is that, like, originally, based on the Kickstarter, originally Monster Prom 2 was going to be three games in one. But then they raised a shit ton, hit a bunch of their stretch goals, and realized, like, fuck it, let's just keep the releases, like, spread out and keep making the fucking content, you know? Like, which I think was the right call, because, uh, hey, we're all still here. Uh, yeah. No, oh, coach is never wrong. We're just not thinking hard enough. Think, think, hey, think. Hey, you, you look like a hard thinker. What mascot should we use for our team? Easy. We'll just get a genetically engine. We'll just genetically engineer a cross between every kind of monster at the school. Head of a werewolf, tail of a mermaid, hair of a Medusa, angst of a vampire, or just find a regular human, dress him up in a business suit, and make him the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Corporate greed. That's the real monster. How long in between releases? Are they scheduled or just kind of pop them out? Uh, that's the thing. I think it's like, um. Fuck, it's hard to say off the top of my head, but I think it, 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 they aren't like, 
it's just sort of like on the horizon. Like there's no specific real uh, schedule in place for it, I don't think. There might be, but I, I can't see that. Uh, like I can't see if Monster Con comes out this year, I don't see a new game coming out in 2025. Except for Monster Prom Reverse. Because Monster Prom Reverse is just going to be a way smaller uh, project, which is just like Monster Prom, but the premise is that you can date the player characters. So I think if we get Con in 24, Reverse in 25, and maybe Retreat in 26, which is crazy. God! Can you imagine what we're going to be fucking up to in 2026? I'm going to be 90. I'm going to be 90 years old in the year 2026. That's crazy. Uh, I guess I'll do this bottom one. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> Which must mean that it's really smart. Hey! Corporate greed. That's the real monster. Yeah. Hooray. He can even make it rain dollar bills on the audience. They'll love him. I love him. Fuck rich people. Yay. Hey. Oh, yeah. Pff, I'm a fucking dunce. I was like, oh, maybe that's the Miranda answer. But it's like, yeah, the real villain is wealth. <laughs> yeah, Miranda hates that. But now that my memory is kind of being jogged ever so slightly, um, sure. I'm pretty sure the Zagord plot line is Polly and Miranda are the main characters who are obsessed with the Discord totem with you, so it looks like we'll be seeing Miranda, Polly, and Scott. In 2026, I'll be a millionaire or in a ditch. Only two options, bro. I am right there fucking with you. Like, either... I That's, that's why Operation Lock-In has begun, because if I... <laughs> Shit's gotta change, bro. And nobody's gonna change it for me. So, uh, I'm gonna have to do it myself. Fuck it, I'm gonna sit with, uh, Valerie. How much is the totem? Ten! Ooh, ten. Oh, fuck. Ten? Mm, ten, though. So I'm at seven. I'll go up to nine. Show me the timeline. Okay. And then I buy it at lunch right there. Uh, yeah, we're fine. This is fine. Do I dare? No, I don't. I want to get this Gord Totem thing, so. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I buy here. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye, Valerie. Valerie. I'll date you later. No, each each stream. That's the goal. Each stream being better than the last and just slowly making little improvements. So Oh fuck! If if she goes to the library tomorrow, then this run is dead. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fingers crossed. I need RNG on my side. Uh you notice Liam and Scott having a discussion. Scott looks confused, and Liam looks bored, which means they're probably having an argument. Hey guys, editing Jacob Rewind here. Since you're watching an edited VOD, I'm gonna edit out some of these unrelated conversations and keep it tight. If you wanna see these conversations, tune into the stream, or wait for me to upload the full VOD somewhere. But I'd love to see you over at twitch.tv slash Jacob underscore Rewind. But, yeah, let's keep this thing a little bit short, and let's get to the Zagord totem shit, am I right? Yay! And this run is so alive, dude. I'm gonna fucking lock down Zagord um, ending. Sure. Easy pleasy, Japanesey. I don't even need my fucking notebook, boss. What's up? Good old devotee, what's it gonna be today? Uh... The powerful totem of Zgord, ruler of the Dark Realms, please. I'm not quite sure if it's safe for the school in the entire fabric of reality to sell this to high schoolers, but a girl needs a new pair of badass boots, so fuck safety. Thanks. I'm always amazed at how people keep coming and buying all this stupid crap. Intriguing. What is this? Oh, another streamer's live. Cool, I can't watch them. I'm currently streaming, bro. I've literally got millions watching, boss. Two millions. Um, <laughs> sure. All right, so now I just never go to the store. 
Uh, charm and fun are low. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Uh, let's up my uh, boldness. Lock it in. <sighs> oh, my homies skipped the location flavor text, but I guess I shouldn't for camp or con, because it'll all be new. <laughs> um, I had a nice dinner. I had a uh, egg sandwich that I made in the morning. And I also had a... What was I gonna say? I also had a hot dog because there were extra hot dogs. So I ate a hot dog. Oh, yep, here it is. The uh, totem shit. I told you, bro, I told you I had the totem ending. I told you I had this on lockdown, man. Uh, later, you're strutting your stuff with your new totem when it attracts some wanted attention. <laughs> Told you. I know how this game works. Uh, what a cute little duck day totem you're rocking. Oh, it is so tiny and sweet compared to the dark gods of the ocean. Poor helpless little totem. Blood gushes forth from the totem's eyes, shrieking, shrieking, excuse me, its face with a sinister red. Oh no! It's hungry, poor little guy. Is that it, cutie patootie? Are you hungry, wungy? The totem's mouth stretches open farther than it physically should be able to, and a swarm of locusts bursts forth. We need to find it, a yummy for his tummy sacrifice. No princesses, though. I'm sure that's not what it wants anyway. The totem burns fiery hot and icy cold at the same time. Aw, you better... <laughs> You better find a great sacrifice for the whittle deity, and it'll make the gals so happy too. Uh, start a giant sacrificial bonfire of weed, or be self-sacrifice and sacrifice yourself. Uh, uh, mmm, mmm. Here's my dilemma. Uh, bonfire of weed? That's either boldness or fun? My fun's at four, my boldness is at eight. Self-sacrificing? That might be creativity or charm. Mm. Uh, bonfire of weed. Ugh. Damn it, right after I promised I had it on lockdown, too. Oh man, I do have a lot of weed on me right now. And from my father's plantations, we can get plenty of seaweed. Wrong weed, Mary. Um, although there's really no reason that our sacrifice can't be bur burning the weed by smoking it, right? The totem turns to ash in your hand, then pulls itself back together in the blink of an eye, somehow more terrifying than before. I think it likes that idea. I'm not so sure. You and Polly light up and start smoking that marijuana. Yo, you're getting pretty good and high when the room around you shakes as though struck by an earthquake. It begins to hail and rain fire. Shrieks of the dead and dying fill the air until blood begins to trickle out of your ears. At first, you think maybe it's just because you're high, but by the time the skeleton magpies start rending your flesh from your bones, you think maybe it might have something to do with the literally on fire totem. I told you it didn't want you to smoke the marijuanas. Poor little guy, I bet it feels left out. Yeah, the shitty idea was to smoke the weed. You and everything. <laughs> Miranda and Polly coo over the poor betrayed totem, leaving you to deal with your hurt feelings and magpie wounds. You lose two charm and one fun. Well, that's why we, uh, that's why we do this, boys. Mm, sure. We take a little failure. We do a little fail. We do a little fucking up. Just for the culture. It really doesn't matter. Like, the run's dead. The Zgord totem run is dead. I've got one heart with Scott and one heart with Liam. I'm all over the goddamn place. So I'm getting a fucking failure of an ending. So I'm just gonna fucking What's go up? to the store. Fuck it. Give me the gift Catch that gives the giving. <laughs> oh my god. There's never been a more dead run. <laughs> um, Holy shit. Oh, fuck, dude. Uh, yeah. So, uh, again, again, again. I, I can't afford anything. <laughs>
Okay, uh, prediction time. Is it gonna give me- Well, it's not even gonna give me a sure. finale event, because I don't have enough relationship points with any of the fucking characters, so I'll just go to the, uh... I'm gonna end this run with two dollars in my bank account, unless I lose it in this event. <laughs> That's queer. So for the Zagord totem ending, or for the Zagord totem route, I guess would be the more correct way of saying it. For the Zagord totem route, failing does not mean the route is over. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I did not know that. We're here to save the day. Thank God you found the totem. Hand it over. Hold up. And it just gets queerer. I think this is the last event. You know what? Just because I want to be sure, I am going to grab my notebook. Here it is. Here it is. Making yet another stream appearance. The guide. The Bible. The incomplete Bible. <laughs> the slightly stained Bible. Okay. Um. So... There's all the character-specific ones. Orgy ending. Uh, Vera Mob Boss. Shopkeeper Prom Date. Uh, Zagord Totem. Oh, no. It is It is just the second one, it looks like. Because, yeah, this is back when I wrote the premises of each event. And the second event is Defend from Coven, which does seem to be what's happening here. Great. Okay. Well... We learned something today, and isn't that what it's all about? Whoa, dudes, chill out for a second. Whatever seems to be the matter, we're off to have a lovely picnic with our dearest totem friend, little buddy. Your totem is scored, ruler of the dark realms, an agent of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Um, rude. Truly, though, what have you ever done to earn our friendship? This totem has been there for us whenever we needed it. Wait, what? Oh, I can't see what my stats were because they're all zero. But Weed Bonfire was fun. And Self-Sacrifice was charm. And weren't my fun and charm the same? Huh. Huh. Even after fucking however many years, I boot up this game and it just starts throwing fucking forks at me. Man, you think you know a- you think you know a game. Yeah, when I ran out of ketamine, little buddy made sure the dealer chopped dead in the club with full buckets, so I could have as much as I wanted. It was ketamine- <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, it was ketamine delicious. <laughs> when a suitor brought me the wrong flowers, little buddy made his eyes and teeth melt out of his face. The totem purrs happily, which sounds like the shrieking of a thousand cows dying of famine. Literally every time I think you guys can't make worse choices, you somehow make worse choices. That is the fucking tagline of the game. The coven prepares to attack. Their sights set on your precious totem. You better think fast. Swallow the totem hole and keep it safe in your belly. Boldness. Slide a hand. I think maybe it's all zero. <laughs> Use sleight of hand to make the totem disappear. Magic. Uh, thinking quickly, you use your excellent dexterity to palm the totem. 
Where did it go? Right there. Literally right there. Why did you think witches wouldn't see through sleight of hand? Fuck, good point. And now, allow us to show you what real magic looks like as we destroy your dark deity totem! Eee! At the sound of Miranda's ear splitting shriek, an army of armored Kelpies burst through the walls and begin to fight the coven! It's an evil spirit! Why are you defending it? Why do you always escalate like this? The Kelpie's onslaught is merciless, and the coven has no choice but to retreat. Sweet milk, buddy, you are safe once more, my precious kawaii de deity. Mir, what was that? Oh, well, do you really think my father would not have me well guarded in the case of an attempted kidnapping of me or a totem? It was pretty useful, unlike you, since you did nothing but a stupid fake magic trick. Ah, uh, I have half a mind to forbid you to gaze upon my totem ever again. But, but it's your totem. Rambo will remember that in a hot second. But don't lose the totem. But you don't lose the totem, but you do lose two bonus and one smarts. Okay. Uh, the monster problem draws in here. Uh, I could take a definite, like, guaranteed rejection from Polly, or I could find out what none of them does. Like, is there, like, is there a way to fail the Zagore totem ending? Like, is there a context-sensitive failure Zagore totem ending? I don't think there is, because I think the only event that's like that is the fucking... Uh, Miranda's birthday party one with, uh, Feel the Eel. I'm gonna go get the, uh, guaranteed rejection from um, Holly. Sure. You <laughs> had a chance in the world, darling. You are bored him on a stick. You bored me to death. And then what would I be? A meta ghost? Pass. Bye -bye. See ya. And failed. <laughs> bye bye. Five new events, five new outcomes. Yippee. I forget, does this music get you copyrighted? It does. Oh, but it's been so long since I've watched these credits and listened to 15 Minutes by Nick... N Mike Kroll. I always get Mike Kroll and Nick Kroll confused because they do have quite literally the exact same fucking name. You know what? We're here. I'm gonna listen to it. What if I told you that the world was gonna end and you had 15 minutes to spend with me or your friends? Would you take the first bus over to my house or would you take the last train west coast? See, it's times like these with the change of parties over and done before we had a start it goes on in my head and i'll wind up dead singing sha la 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 wow mike kroll what if all the stars came crashing to the ground and explosions and fire started happening all around you believe me and come home or sit back let it be I can't do this by myself join the guilty gear server for five minutes you already finished the game the run died the run died Dylan I uh, I fucked up the first event and then I started uh, doing just uh, yeah the run died that's what you missed but yeah um, but an interesting thing happened when the run died is apparently maybe the run didn't die. Maybe I just thought the run died because I fucked up the first event in this Gord Totem route, right? And typically when you fuck up an event, uh, when you fuck up an event in an outcome, you, uh, the run, you, you don't get that, that outcome. Like you don't get any more events from that outcome. But I fucked up the first event and then I got the next event. Like I fucked up the intro with Polly and Miranda and the sacrifice. And then I got the defend the totem from the coven event. So maybe this Gord totem run just acts differently than, uh, than the others. I do not know. I truly do not know. All right. Um, well, I guess I run it back, right? We're still gaming. First term, short game. Um, that was spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. 
We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? Um, let's be, uh, Dylan, you got a name? You got a name or a character request at all? Does anyone in the chat have a, uh, request for a name or a character? Last time we were devotee, that went, uh, that, <laughs> that did not go well. But now I've got my notebook in front of me, so I literally cannot fail. Um, I guess if we were, what's the opposite of a devotee? Just like an aloof person? Just someone who's very aloof and doesn't care about stuff? Right? Uh, what's the opposite of a devotee? So there's a devotee. And then there's someone who's aloof. Soft, fuzzy man? That won't fit. That's too long. Wow. Okay. Uh, soft, fuzzy man fits. So, let's do it. Uh, or should I? Nah, 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 nah. That won't do a mustard run. We'll do a soft, fuzzy man run. Yeah. Here we go. But uh, her pronouns could still be she, her. I mean, like, you can be, you can be a lady and a soft, fuzzy man. It's just, I don't make the rules. I mean, I do. I do make the rules. And I'm saying that the rules are that you can be a soft, fuzzy man and a lady at the same time. Um. Ayo! We got some money in the first thing. Um. Is this also money right here? I think this is also money. Yeah. Rock and roll! Getting this totem's gonna be fucking easy. Uh, you know. Since I know Dylan's here, I'll get some Vera action. Well, looks like Damon has the race in the bag. Vera has a new business venture, and the world has a new species of super race car. Wow! I am fucking loaded, baby! Let's do this! Okay. Eh. So I can lock down the totem right here. But I'm gonna take a free stat up from coach. Hi, my beloved student. I'm not gonna do a Tony the Tiger voice. I, I don't I don't do a tiger the I don't do a Tony the Tiger impression unless I've got more than five viewers. <laughs> hey there, bud, what you drinking? What milk? That's it? Um but enough about me. Let's get you juice. What can have sports sauce or muscle juice? Which will it be? Both or whiskey? Uh both. It's boldness. Whiskey. It's fun. Yeah. Mm. Youth is a gift. Yes. All right. So that's the first scored totem event on lockdown. So now I gotta buy the fucking thing. Give me you. Oh fuck, dude. I just had a fucking shattering realization for the blindfolded monster prom run. I'm pretty sure the location of each item in the shop is randomized every time. Okay, so the first one is fun and charm, and then it's boldness smart, and then it's boldness charm. So if I just focus boldness, I'm... <gasps> I'm good. Lock it in. Alright, so we just read this one, so I'm not gonna read it again. <laughs> but what if I wanna post it? Nah, nah. If I wanna post this, I'll record it and. Ah! <sighs> Whatever. I just read this one. I don't need to do it again. But! This time I'm gonna succeed here, right? Because my fun is way higher. Start a giant sacrificial bonfire of weed. Oh man, I do have a lot of weed on me right now. And from my father's foundations, we can get plenty of seaweed. Normally I don't like to sacrifice weed for anything, but for our pal here, I'm happy to do it. Oh, 
Hello, Minnie. I may have finished my first water bottle, which is why I prepared two. Thank you very much for the hydrate. Yo, if y'all didn't hear, Minnie's starting to stream again tomorrow, right? Pretty sure? I, thought I saw that in the Discord. It's fucking... We're, we're, we are so back, guys. We are so back, guys. We are so back. I'm back. You're back. He's back. I'm, that guy's black. We're all back, except for the guy over there who's black. But he's black and back, so we're all so back, baby. <laughs> uh, the totem turns to ash in your hand, then pulls itself back together in the blink of an eye, somehow more terrifying than before. That's what you do. You've done that before. Uh, you and Polly turn out your pockets and create a pile of weed. Polly pulls out her lighter. Uh, oh man, only for you, little buddy. The totem smiles, a horrifying, gaping, glowing smile. With a flick of her finger, Polly sets the weed aflame. The cannabis bonfire leaps up high. Hi, get it. <laughs> Hi. Get it? Hi, like like stone? Like, like, it was, uh, hello? Is, is, is this thing on? Is... <laughs> <laughs> Totem lifts off the ground and floats high above the smoke, the smell of weed thick in the air. The cause of crows and wheezes of the dying echo around you. Aw, it's happy! You gain bonus and fun. Alright. So, for those of you who are just tuning in, if you couldn't tell by that, maybe you've never played Monster Prime or you're not familiar, the plan is to fucking lock in and lock down the uh, Zgord Totem ending. So, I've got... I also... Uh, failed this once already, so I went to grab my notes, so I literally can't fail. So I'm just gonna sit with, uh, Valerie to skip the turn. No! This is a trap! This gift box is a trap that kills good things. Don't step in it. God, I've got a freaking bat in the cave, if you know what I mean. I've got a booger in my nose. Let's do this! Uh... Totally unrelated. Have you guys seen this, uh, this trailer? All right. Wow, what a cool trailer, am I right? That we cut to for no particular reason. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathrooms because these next two fucking uh, events are just boldness based. Oh, here we go. Uh, later, you, Polly, and Miranda are watching your adorable little dark deity totem melt the faces off passerby when... Thank day. God you found the totem! Hand it over, quickly! Whoa, dudes! Chill out for a second! Whatever seems to be the matter, we're off to have a lovely picnic with our dearest totem friend, little buddy! Your totem is Gord, ruler of the Dark Realms, an agent of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Um, rude? Truly, though, what have you ever done to earn our friendship? This totem has been there for us whenever we needed it. Yeah, when I ran out of ketamine, little buddy made sure a dealer dropped him dead in the club with full pockets so I could have as much as I wanted. It was ketamine delicious. When a suitor brought me the wrong flowers, little buddy made his eyes and teeth melt out of his face. The totem purrs happily, which sounds like the shrieking of a thousand cows dying of famine. Literally every time I think you guys can't make worse choices, you somehow make worse choices. Ah, stop touching your face, but my face is itchy! Um, what's going on over here? Done. Great. Bank em and stink em, baby. Uh, uh, swallow the totem hole and keep it safe in your belly. I'm gonna put it in my belly! <laughs> Shrek in my belly. <laughs> Austin Powers. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Borat. <laughs> Thinking quickly, you all but unhinge your jaw and swallow the totem. Damn, and I thought I could swallow. <laughs> Don't worry about it, <laughs> How? Why? Why would you do this? You just swallowed a dark deity. How do you not understand the repercussions? Um, did you not hear the part where the totem makes lots of cool shit happen for us? Why would we give that up? For the fate of the world! The three of you exchange glances. Nah, doesn't sound like a good reason. 
You are truly... Oh, shoot. That's the coven signal. We're needed elsewhere. With that, they disappear. You're safe, little buddy. It's okay. Oh, little buddy. It's okay to come out now. The dark deity totem floats up your throat and out of your mouth. It hovers in the air for a moment, glowing sinisterly before falling back into your hand. How is it so cute? The totem lives another day, possibly to destroy the world. Yay! You gain two creativity and one boldness. Meow, 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 meow. I'm a kitty cat. Meow, meow. Look at that. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, I'll stop meowing. Uh, <laughs> uh, after the game, you spot Vera desperately trying to ignore Coach. You go over to see if you can help. Always believe in yourself. I did say earlier in the stream that I don't do a Coach voice for less than five viewers. I do have five viewers, so... <clears throat> I'm just trying to help you be your best self, Vera. That's what custom workouts are for. Are you meow maxing every day, bro? Every morning I wake up and I meow about 10 to 12 times. But actually, there is actually a... Hey, you guys can feel free to do this at home, too. There's a uh, vocal warm-up technique exercise that, like, helps you do... It's called a trip thong, but you just meow. But you do it in a certain way. You do it like this. Meow. Meow. Trip thong. Meow. Uh, do it. At, do it at home right now and irritate everyone you live with, everyone you cohabitate with. Yes! Oh, what good fucking news! Uh, Mini, I got recommended DJ Khaled compilation part two after you sent me the first one, Jacob. Yeah! Yeah! Don't <laughs> them bring out the compilations. Tell them to bring out. But Ace Man, I found out that Mini had never seen that compilation. I forget. I I I mentioned DJ Khaled in an Instagram chat for some reason. And Minnie, and I was like, Minnie, you've never seen it? So I sent her the uh, DJ Khaled saying shit compilation, and we got another one, it seems. <laughs> but what really hit for me, because I rewatched the compilation too, is how he keeps saying, tell him to bring out the lobster. Like, the lobster is on the table. The lobster is on the table in front of him, and he just says, don't bring out the lobster! Don't bring out the whole ocean! Don't bring out another waiter! Don't bring out the MonsterCon trailer! Don't bring out the... A gun! Don't bring out the bullet out the gun! I was like, there's no way he said life. Yeah! Oh, that was it! That was it! That was it! Right. I... Mini sent me... Oh, fuck. What was the news article? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I remember it. They're building a virtual Ikea in Roblox... And they're gonna pay people to virtually work there. That was the article you sent me. And then I responded by saying, well, it's like what DJ Khaled said. Life is Roblox. And and then Minnie was like, yeah, no, yeah, he didn't say that. And little did she know, he totally super said that. He's swagging like me right now. Um, anyways, let's uh, finish this uh, event. Maybe, maybe. But are you better than yourself? No, how is that even possible? With custom workouts! Workouts give us buff arms and strong hands! So that we can strangle our past selves? So we can hug our present selves and shake hands with our future! Oh, I like mine better. But even so, the custom workout you suggested is not for me. You don't like the million push-up system? Oh, okay. You can make up your own workout! Just think of something you're good at, and it'll work out to make you even better at it! You're stinking, but you already know the perfect workout. You shout out, deadlifts! You'll need the strength when you're lifting bags of gold coins out of your enemy's vaults. Or burpees! They make your nails look incredible for some reason. I, uh, I, it doesn't matter. This isn't part of the, uh, this isn't part of my uh, ending plotline that I'm going for, so I fucking pick either one of these and it's fine. Honestly, I should just do whichever one I find funnier. Uh, burpees, yeah. Uh, burpees. Excuse me. You know, burpees, nature's most natural form of physical and psychological torture. 
You want me to repeatedly perform an activity that has burp right in the name. Why don't I throw in some throw-ups and fart lifts while I'm at it? Why not some squats, too? I would pay so much money to watch Avira do a fart lift. Uh. <laughs> oh, squats! Yes, we've got to do some squats! Wait, squats is a real exercise? I was just coming up with the grossest names I could. What's gross about squats? Squats are the glue that binds this nation together! Quit it with the glue and the binding. My nails are already too fabulous for words, especially these nasty-ass words. Vera turns on her very high heels and storms out of the gym. And did her nails just roll their eyes at you? You lose fun and smarts. It's fine, as long as I don't lose boldness, I'm fucking good, dude. Jacob, you're transforming into freaky Jacob. Let's no, do it. Uh, Ace Man, you don't understand. It was just, it was a bit, man. It was just a bit, dude. Like, I, I, Jacob Rewind, don't want to see Vera do a fart lift. That'd be gross and weird. I don't want to see that. I, I've never even thought of, like, what fictional characters' asses might fart like. Have you? Because that, don't, do, because those are your words. That's. <laughs> <laughs> no. -uh. Sure, I'll stand up. Look at me. I'm wearing pajama pants. I'll jump. There, I did a jump. <laughs> well, no, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not going to stand up again. I'm going to sit comfortably with my back straight and have some more of my water. Unless you're talking about something else, Antonio, no. Ace Man just wanted to see my huge boner. Okay, so, last event. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna get Charm just in case it's a stat requirement, but I don't believe it is. I think I've got this on lockdown here. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Uh, but the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak. Oh, all my homies fucking skipped the location flavor text. For a long moment, you, Polly, and Miranda can do nothing but stare at the newly freed dark deity. Awesome, boo! Dude, this is awesome! I can't believe our sweet little kawaii deity is finally out here in the universe with us! Me either! So, like, now what? Yeah, I guess the body isn't so little anymore. The dark deity smiles, the grin of the eternally damned. The paint begins to melt off the walls of the hallway. Windows shatter, sending shards of glass flying dangerously through the air. The ground rumbles and shakes with the force of a magnitude 12 earthquake, which is actually farther than the Richter scale goes. Yikes, who knew that unleashing a dark deity from a totem would have consequences? This could definitely spiral out of control. Better do something, and fast. Fight the dark deity, or ask the dark deity to monster prom. You know what? This is actually something I've never fucked around with. Because, like, the whole point of this ending is that you take it to prom. I wonder if you only get that if you pick the bottom one. Because I've already established that this plotline works differently than the norm. I am going to fight the Dark Deity, though, because that's what I'm statted to do. After all I've done for you. Growl is a voice in your head. I mean, this is kind of a betrayal on your part. But whatever, dark deities are dangerous. Gotta shut that shit down while I can. This ought to be good! It's an epic battle that rages for several hours. The dark deity is an ancient being with years of malevolence and violence, and it's powerful in storied history. Well, you're simply a plucky high schooler. Which somehow gives you the upper hand, since plucky high schoolers seem to always defeat the forces of evil. Before too long, you've managed to wrestle the dark deity back into the totem and contained it once more. Your Miranda voice has made me think about Ocean England. Is that a specific thing? Is that a person? Is there a person named Ocean England? I'm just thinking of a bunch of fish with fucked up teeth. <laughs> um, actually, Ace Man, it's not Ocean England. It's called the Mer Kingdom. <laughs> okay. And Canada is called the Realm of the Air People. <laughs> 
Well, that was fun while it lasted. But I guess it's nice to have little buddy be little again. It sure is. You gain your totem back and you also gain two smarts and one boldness. Huh. So I'm going to ask none of them. Let's start a fire. Let's do this. I actually don't know how this goes. You asked no one to prom. You told yourself you didn't need anyone. You know, on a theoretical level, that's completely... Really? Huh. That is fucking wacky. Interesting. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. So the only way you get the ending is if you get the specific thing. Huh. That is interesting. I'm glad I did this because I did learn some shit. And now I'm going to listen to 15 minutes again. Plain out of the West Coast. See, it's times like these with the change of fuck. All the stars came crashing to the ground. The explosions and fire started happening. Thanks for playing, and I don't even get a Polaroid because I fucking fucked up. But, um, my goal for this, uh, playthrough was to get the Zgord totem ending. And I still haven't fucking gotten it. So I'm going to run it one more time. I know what I need to do differently, though. I just need to lock in and grab some charm. Is there anything I have to do before I uh, start this final run here? Lock in charm, and then the middle one, uh, run it back. Yeah, let's run it. One more run. One more run, mamacita. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. Uh, we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. You know what? If we're running it back, if we're locking it down, you already fucking know who's coming out. It's mustard, motherfuckers. Sure thing. The fucking champion. Here we go. All right, we want to see, ideally, one money answer here. That would be ideal. One money answer here would be ideal. Oh, invisible hand of the free market. That's a, that's all I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, sun, global warming isn't real. Okay, I'll take two. I'll take two money. I'll take two money. And now I'm going to lock in, go into the gym. Um, Who do we want to hang out with who's not going to be uh, in the uh, ending that I'm going to get? I'll do Vera. Sure. I'll pick Vera. You're like a snake lady. All right. Slither, slither. So now the plan is basically just fucking hit the gym. Just hit the gym like so hard. Uh-oh, I should have gone to get money. It's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nobody panic, we're not in any trouble. This is the run. You see Miranda and Vera chatting away, their eyes gleaming the gleam of ski of the- <laughs> You see Miranda and Vera chatting away, their eyes gleaming the gleam of the scheming. Yay! Siding with Vera always makes her happy. Oh! Um, <laughs> and I hate to ask you all of this, but can I see some fucking Pog Champs in chat? I could buy the idol right away! I already have the cash I need to buy the idol. This is the run. All right. My charm is at five. My fun is at five. I will up my charm on this next turn. Yeah, let's buy the fucking idol. I'm here. Give me the power totem of Zagord, ruler of the dark realms, please. Thank, thank you, thank you, Indigo. Those are the pog champs I wanted to see. I'll take it. Have a good one. 
Meow, 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 Valerie was at the gym that could have fucked me over a little, but it didn't happen. So I am all good. If you notice, Vera showing up an elaborate new neck last to me. And uh, there, the crown jewels Vera of Lemuria. My family acquired them in a cutthroat business merger. Do you like them? Oh, yes, very much. Such a shame about the Lemurian family, though. <laughs> what that they're all dead at the hands of their own servants No, no, that was an unavoidable Once the true tragedy had taken place They were no longer loved by their subjects Fear you, me, oh No, there is so scary Love is what matters I could not disagree more You there, settle this dispute for us What is the best way to let people know how powerful you are? Uh, we'll, we'll see if Monster Prom was an Amazon Prime original series, who would be better to make it? Michael Rea- oh. Oh. I mean, they work so well together. Brianna learned so much from Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Okay, if I- Dude, you fucking- I don't know! Oh. Okay. Okay. You know what? Alt pitch. I would if if we're talking Monster Prom TV show. I think Pendleton Ward could be fucking huge at the helm. Like I'm thinking the characters and, like, the world building of a fucking Adventure Time. But the thing is that, like, you, that's the thing is I honestly feel like if you just get anyone who gives a shit at the helm, it'll be based. Like, the world building is there, the characters are there, you don't have to do a Walking Dead thing where you, you, you shake up what the premise is, you just give the people what they want. Like, you don't have to introduce anything new. You just have to do it well. But if I, but if, but if I chose someone, it would be Pendleton Ward, because he could take what he's done in Adventure Time, and what he did on Midnight Gospel, and just take both of those things and fucking execute it. Singing more Clone High vibes. I, I gotta be honest, I haven't, uh, cl uh... Clone High is a bit of a blind spot for me. I watched the first episode of the new season that they did, and I was like, oh, I get it. And then I never really watched more of it, which is kind of a bummer, because it was a very good show. Um, I'm open to it. I'm 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 open to uh, Clone High. Looks funny. <laughs> oh oh. They both take place in high. Ugh, they both take place in high schools. I'm so fucking dumb. Anyways, cute barista tries to talk to you but ends up spilling hot black coffee in her face and goes blind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love a run on title. Um, so we've seen this. I've voice acted it already tonight. We don't need to read it again. Fun is low charm. Be self-sacrificing. Sacrifice yourself. I will read this one because I haven't before. Oh my gosh, you're going to sacrifice yourself, my hero. Yeah, not gonna lie, that's kind of hot. Totem glows fiery red in eager anticipation of your blood sacrifice. Luckily, you have powder. You have. Luckily, you have powder of starfish in your backpack after a sketchy drug dealer with a cell key. You take a swig of it, then casually chop off your own limbs. Heck yeah! Hardcore! Jacob, quick question. Uh, depending on how quick the question is, I will deliver as quick an answer. The totem grows impossibly large, or do your severed limbs grow impossibly small? It's hard to tell. The profess there's perspective seems fuzzy, but that could be the blood loss. Regardless, the totem swallows your limbs whole, one by one. Gentle earthquakes rip across the school, and you know in your heart that the totem is pleased. 
that was so sweet of you. Who knew such an ability could lie in the heart of a peasant? Uh, crushed it. Thanks to the powder of starfish, your limbs grow back in no time. You gain all new limbs, and you gain bonus and charm. Okay. What would you do if Midas was two micrometers away from <laughs> Oh! Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull his finger. What happens then? He farts gold? I'll pull Midas' finger. <laughs> I think I I think I land I stick the landing on this run, get this ending, and I think that's the stream for tonight. Unless there's anything else that anybody wants to do. I could boot up Animal Well, but I want Animal Well to be tomorrow's stream and just tomorrow's stream, and I just try to beat it in tomorrow's stream. And then this Thursday I'll probably do Ban Ban. Yeah. I like that! I like that it's just a little outline, you know? Monster Prom, Animal Well, Ban Ban, I feel like that's exactly- I feel like that's me. You know, if I chose three video games to say me, it would- <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I I just found it funny. It's like I was about to ask you all, like, if you chose three video games to represent you, what would they be? And then I was about to do it for myself, but it's just Monster Prom, Monster Camp, Monster Road Trip, baby. <laughs> Because what do I need? I need high charm now and low boldness. So, yeah, one more go. Show me that Show money. Me that money. Ah. Thank you. All right, let's stick this landing, people. Here we go. Let's unleash the fucking totem of Zgord. All right. Come back in the first thing. <laughs> Here's Cat Mario. Yeah. I'll never escape it. Um, It doesn't matter where I go. So I'm just going to make my charm even higher. We got this, baby. Mmm, I like that for you, Mini Cyberpunk 2077. That's 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 good. It's, it's very nice, very good. Um, later, you, Polly, and Miranda are. Wait, what? In my fucking attempt to speed run, in my attempt to just get it done, this is the second event, not the third. I'm not. I. Wow. It took fucking effort to fuck this up. This was the run. And I just, and, and I just. Have I literally seen every, no, we can't. The fucking run is over. I have to start another one, which I'll do. I'm just going to speed through it because I've literally read every single thing so far. If I, hold on. The first time I did it, I fucked up that one. If I did two more things, I'd have gotten every single outcome from this event. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Ooh, where did it go? Wait, since when did you know magic? We didn't realize you were magical. We could have used your sorcery on so many quests. My word, do you ever stop talking? Please leave us be, peasants. We have more important things to discuss. Well, I suppose if you possess such great powers, we can trust that you will be able to contain the dark deity within the totem. Yeesh! Finally, I respect around here. What have we ever not been trustworthy? Yeah, I fuck it. All my homies hate joy. Bro. Kevin pieces out. Faith is cool. Hope is also cool. But Joy is just kind of like... In my opinion. Kevin pieces out. Presumably because they have no... Fuck it! Oh! I got the floppy disk! Alright. Maybe that'll be next Monday. Watch this shit, guys. I can fucking... Okay, the ad's gonna run in 4 minutes, 10 seconds. Fucking watch me cook. Fucking... It would have been faster to just do no name. Fucking, I don't care. 
Don't talk to me, bro. I'm fucking speed running. Play the music. Fuck, I need to read these. One of them might be money. It's okay, I took boldness. Uh da, 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 da. So to cover in water world. Bro! I win this. Who cares? We'll take Polly. Up charm. You got it. Three minutes, 38 seconds on the clock. Going to the gym. Ah, stop hitting escape. Oh, and this is the first monster prom, so I can do my space bar tech. <laughs> uh, turns my... Okay, tiger. After next time. That one. Whatever, fine. Fuck it. It's not what the run's about. Fuck, I need to get money. Uh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can pull this off. I can pull this off. I need seven, eight, nine. Yep, 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 yep. I can pull this off. I can pull this off. Stop fucking doubting me. Eat shit, garlic rice. Okay. It's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just go to the library twice. Just go to the library twice. I got this. Cue the Green Hill Zone song. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh! <sighs> Fuck. Hold on. Wait. Poly nah, Polly and Danian. No. Uh, it's over. I can't. Yeah, because then I'd have to buy the totem there, and it won't work. There's one. Sh it, it's 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 over here unless Vera shows up. Wait. Wait. Nah, it's over. It's done. Game over. Ah, okay. All right. Game plan. This ad that is coming up runs, and we all watch an ad. Which is, I mean, you, you you guys watch an ad, I continue streaming. But, uh, yeah. Okay. It's fine. Oh, now I get a bag full of quarters. Oh, good. Not when I fucking needed it or anything. All right. God damn it, dude. Just fucking... Show me that money. Give me the fucking... Who cares? Thanks. Yeah, give me the present. Oh, cool, a gun. I'm gonna shoot myself in the head with it. Ugh. All right. How far I've fallen. Ah! Urgh! All right. Okay. It's. What's up? I'm gonna buy a. a just do, who cares? Fuck it. My life's over. I'm gonna buy drugs and a gun. I have a fucking right. cocaine binge and kill everybody at the school. This is impossible. Yeah, I'm a gun haver, dude. Have you seen my inventory? Ugh. Okay. Here's what happens now. The ad runs. The ad ends. I get the ending. Okay? That's what happens. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. It's not over. I do love this uh, event very much. I'm gonna win. I don't even care what the prize is. Look, it's him. It's that guy I like. It's that blue guy I love. Who what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios, our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you? That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a tawdry dating game. Everybody stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question! That's the spirit. Question number one. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. I think I can get the one I want. I think I can get the good one, guys. Before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now is your chance to give an answer that would end the competition and send the prince packing. Twitch, if you say you're gonna run an ad, do it! Just do it myself. I'll click the button. Fuck it. But... Buying that gun and cocaine have made my boldness a whopping 31. 
Moderator, give me jaw unhinges bees pour out. You unhinge your jaw and let the bees pour out. You definitely couldn't do this back in your home dimension. Also, when I play, I got, I played this with friends and got this outcome, and I'm pretty sure one of my friends drew it after we got it. That's how much it made us laugh. Ah, stop that. You're supposed to answer with words, not bees. Probably should have specified that. Bees seem like a legitimate answer to me. What are you against avant-garde forms of expression? Words are so passe. Oh man, I was gonna say bees! You totally stole my answer! Wait, wait, I get it! Polly unhinges her ghostly jaw and thousands of locusts pour out. Damn, you wish you'd thought of that. Locusts are way cooler. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. The prince is so busy fending off bugs, he can't focus on keeping you in his dimension. You all teleport back home. You're pleased with your victory, although your throat is a little hoarse. Which is ironic, because a little hoarse isn't what came out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, you gained two creativity and one boldness. Should we listen to the song again? No. It's time to fucking win. This is for future. Let's be in the now. And right now... I have got to get this fucking ending that I can't seem to get. And you know what? I'm just gonna do it. We're here. It's happening. I'm just gonna do it. Short game, okay. This isn't a speed run, but it is gonna happen pretty fast. You following me, camera guy? We haven't done we haven't done Vicky at all yet. Let's do Vicky. Um, yeah. Yay. Here we go. Stand up, Juan. Okay. Give me the good RNG, please. Two monies. I'll take fucking two monies. There's one. We're, we're, just, we're just spitballing, man. It's just for fun. Or I could do a stream where I turn the ring light off and the light off, and I just have a dark screen the whole time. Or I could do a stream where I just look at you. I don't know. Just ideas. <laughs> You're staring in our souls, and I'm here like, what pretty eyes you have. I've d I must have done my, uh, my staring contest bit on stream before, right? I don't know what it is about me, but I... I can really go a while without blinking. Oh! Hey, here's a fun idea. I'm not necessarily going to do a speed run, but watch my eyes. I... Starting now, I will try not to... Oh, it's really hard with the ring light, though. <laughs> God damn. It's really hard with the ring light. Fuck. Okay. So if I kind of put up a blocker here. Let's see how long I can go without blinking, just with forcing my eyes open. Okay, so I gotta look at my paper. Charm, charm, charm is what I wanna have up. Charm is at five, let's get it higher than five. I need to get money. I don't need to get a ton of money though. Oh, bro. <laughs> uh, that uh, truck, no one would be able to do, yeah. <laughs> you guys will have to tell me if I blink, but I feel like I haven't blunk yet. Okay, so here I want to go to the ooh interdimensional space prince. He can give me money. Uh, give me a pile of money and go away. Rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. Uh, Jacob rewind jump scare when. Uh, you'll have to uh, buy the DLC if you want the Jacob rewind jump scare. Kale, give me the totem, please. Cha ching. Here we go. So I've got to keep charm up and smarts up as a backup. That's what's happening. Have I blunk yet? You follow me, camera guy? Okay, smarts is at seven. Uh, let's uh, let's do the charm. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Self-sacrificing. Excellent. I think things are going pretty good. Let's go. Okay. Uh, sure. Fuck it. This is impossible. Uh, fun, boldness. I want to keep my boldness low. Here we go. Map at doing the FNAF jump scares. Oh, yeah. I, I understand. I could I could definitely release that and then make it a gift. That, I feel it could be fun. Uh, so I've got three turns left. Uh, I need to make sure my smarts is higher than my boldness. Which it currently is not. 
Well, I guess I don't need to keep my smarts lower than my bold. I need to keep my charm higher than my boldness. That's what's key. Okay. So my smarts and my boldness are the same. Okay. So they both pass. I'm not blank until this shit's over, boss. Have I blunk yet? I don't believe I have. Oh! <laughs> That's what I was doing wrong earlier. I was blinking. I was missing everything. All right, all right, so I've got one more event. I need to keep my charm high. So let's uh, raise my charm. I saw at least one blink. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Awesome, bro. Let's go. Now, I need to make sure I keep my charm up. I can't buy anything. I know everything that Coach could give me. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go to the store. Exit. There we go. All right, all right. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Let's go. Jim, lock it in. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask the dark deity to monster prom because I don't know if you knew, but that dark deity is Zoe. Or is, is, I, yeah, we know. You immediately drop to one knee and pull out a beautiful bouquet of blood soaked daisies. Oh my god, what? Squee! You make your pitch to the Dark Deity, citing all the wonderful times you've had together, annoying the coven, making sacrifices, melting faces, and how much it's all meant to you. The Dark Deity blushes and cracks creep across the glass of the windows. That's... That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in seven... <coughs> Fuck, I need to drink. My eyes are getting dry. Dude! Ace Man, this game is not Road Trip. If you know exactly what to click on and aren't doing the voices, you can wrap up a run in, a, in 10 fucking minutes. Less than. Haven't you seen my Monster Prom speed run? I got all five endings in fucking, or six endings in like 30 minutes. I want to get a sub 30. A, a sub 30 Zagord percent run is possible and probably is what I already did, but I was playing on the Switch so the load times were shit. I'm cracked. Do you, you really, really feel that way about me? The Dark Day OD flutters, its eyelashes, and birds drop dead from the sky. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You assure Zgord, ruler of the Dark Realm, that yes, your feelings are on the level. This is amazing! It's, it's been a while since anyone's, I, I need to protect my fragile heart. Oh, let me, let me think about it, okay? Totally okay. Wait, are you are you going to Monster Prom with your Dark Deity? Could be. You might have gained a prom date, but you definitely gained boldness and charm. Alright. I'm going with none of them. Lock it in. Let's go. You ask nobody to prom because your heart now belongs to an ancient dark deity. Last time Zgord told you it was thinking about your proposal, you decided to you decide to go to prom and wait for it to appear. You believe from the bottom of your heart that your feelings are mutual after everything you've lived through together. And you're right! You have the cutest and nicest day together. And I'm definitely blinking now, but I, I fucking got it, baby. I got it. I got the run. I should make that a redeem. Go, you know what? I'm going to jot that down. What were the... I feel like there was another... Yeah. Oh, do fucking writing notes later. Let's celebrate this shit. Yeah! You have the cutest and nicest date together. You even hold hands, or whatever Zagord has for hands anyways. In a moment of the vulnerability, Zagord, ruler of the Dark Realms, share its deepest thoughts with you. You know, I've been told for millennia that I was meant to be a dark deity whose only purpose was bringing his reality to its undoing. But I've realized I don't need to be who I've been told to be. I've had more fun these days with you than in the many millennia plotting this realm's demise. I think being a dark deity is not in my true nature. No, I might really be... A high school girl. The Dark Deity shapeshifts into a purple tentacled girl. 
Say goodbye to Zagord, ruler of the Dark Realms. For now, you can call me Zoe. Zoe Monster Prom and Monster Con 4. Monster Prom 4, 4, Con, Con 4, Con 4. One new secret ending, baby. Cheers. There she is. There she is. She's in the picture. She's been there the whole time. She's always been there. She's beautiful. She's great. She's Zoe. It's perfect. Ah. Two hours and 29 minutes to get one ending. There we go. Yep. Let's listen to the song. Because we fucking did it! What if I told you that the world was gonna end And you had 15 minutes to spend with me or your friends Would you spend the first bus over to my house Or would you take the last train over the west coast See it's times like these with the change of heart is over and done before we had a start it goes on in my head and I'll wind up dead singing sha la 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 no 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 Oh, I don't have another. I'm trying to see if I can pull up a Polaroid as it appears in the fucking credits. Don't have that one. Mostly because I gave all my fucking Polaroids away. Oh, don't run! <laughs> Look at that! I did it! Did you see? <laughs> Happy boy. And then who did I- I got the- Oh, I got a totem, so I'm not gonna get a character specific for it. I can't believe I did that! That was fucking great! <laughs> <laughs> what if all this stuff? 15 minutes to spend with me or your friends I guess we don't even need to use the phone I don't need your answer I'll be spending it alone Alright baby So that's that! Got the fucking ending I was looking for. Let's quit! How absolutely wondrous. Now you see what I was saying about holy cow, how did I screw that up so many times? But anyways, holy god! Thank you so much for watching this video. That really makes my day. Um, but now you've reached the end of the video, which means I get to do that great thing that YouTubers love called the outro. I've actually got, if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more stuff that I've done that's Monster Prom related, boy, howdy, have I got good news for you. Uh, up here in this corner, there is going to be uh, my Monster Prom speedrun, which I am considering a world record because as far as I'm aware, nobody has done what I did in that video before. In that video, I explained what it is. I got what I'm calling a Zagord Totem Percent run in Monster Prom on the Switch. Over here is uh, the unboxing video I did for uh, the Monster Prom Triple Pack Collector's Edition that they did with Super Rare Games. A really, really, really fun unboxing video. I was so happy with the, how they uh, treated those Collector's Editions. They all have manuals. It was so fun. Down here will be a playlist with all of my old Monster Prom playthroughs from back when Second Term first released. You can see my initial Zoe hype. And uh, it's all very genuine and wholesome. And maybe, possibly, I'm not entirely sure if the... I think you can put other people's videos to be click on in the end card. But here, in this corner, I'm going to put a, a video that my buddy Ace Man did. I sent him a package in the mail that he opened... And I'm really hoping he liked and it made him laugh. And uh, so that video will be over here. So click on any of these things on screen. It super duper supports me in theory. <laughs> and thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check me out on Twitch. I might still be live if you're watching this right when it came out. And please remember to be kind and rewind. I will catch you later.